Well, good evening wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. Wonderful scenes here in the Dutch capital inside this terrific arena. One that does more than justice to the stature of the man whose name it bears. Well, we're on the way. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? It's got to be the German Messi, Mario Goethe. Uh, one of the most effective footballing drifters you'll come across, whether wide or playing as a false number nine. He's incredibly elusive. Yes, he'd be my pick too. It's going to be all about how they get the best out of him. Max. Van Ginkel. Mario Götz. Weigel battles to win it back. Played out to the right. He gets past his man. Fires it in low. It's a busy front line, uh, lots of movement. And is that working for you? Well, not really. To be honest, I, I'm not a great fan of taking goal potential away from the penalty box. Weigel tries to get it forward quickly. Sankara. Just brushed off the ball there. Rafa Silva. Tries a shot! He's got away with one there. That's just front foot enforcement. Pressure leads to mistake, leads to chance. Van Ginkel. Jack Poe. He's left his man. Played into the middle. Oh, that's a foul, and the whistle's gone. And he's going to have his name taken. And the players are making their point, but the ref clearly isn't interested. He's waved them all away. Just couldn't turn it in. No, that was a slick move, and there were several options in the box to uh, to pick out. Benfica ran themselves into the proverbial cul-de-sac there. Sangara. Questions were asked. He's given the answers. Mario Götze. Now it shall Mario. Pizzi. Receives it from behind. Oh, that's nice. Goes for goal! Very speculative with little threat, if any, for the keeper. Hoists it forward. Forward it goes. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And it's Silva. Rafa Silva tries lifting it over. It's a good run, that. Great timing. The referee has just said play on.
Sankara gets it back. There's the end of the first half. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. How's the first half compared with your expectation? Well, Peter, apart from the lack of goals, I really don't think there's, there's much to criticise. That they've got to keep doing what they've been doing and eventually they should find a way to... Oh, no question, that's a foul. Lucas. Pizzi. That's a promising ball. Well read, he sorted that out. Max can hoist it clear. He's gone out for a throw in. And for a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Weigel. Jack Poe. Sankara. Junior. Well played, he saw that coming. It is a corner. Goetze plays it short. Jack Poe. Right through the middle. Few chances to talk of Jim. Defences, it seems, on top here. Yeah, I think it's a scoreline in keeping with what we've seen up to this point. Combined attempts at goal aren't high in numbers, and we could do with something to spark this contest into life. Weigel. Now it's Rafa Silva. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. So here comes the substitution. has got good distance on that. And it's been taken straight back. Thomas. And now they can launch a counter. It's got through to him. Shoots! In it goes! They'll kick themselves if that doesn't turn out to be the clincher. What a time to score. Benfica are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. PSV making consecutive changes here. Benfica take the lead. The perfect display and the old saying comes to mind when the going gets tough, etc. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Weigel. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Oh, he's not going to get that. This is good ball retention and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Van Ginkel. He spotted the run and played him through. 
Oh, good interception. PSV have a simple task to find something sustained now and keep the pressure on. It is just a question of running down the clock now. Chip through. Big chance! And yes, it's there! And with that goal comes comfort. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. Two up and very little time left, surely this is it. Well, some fans are already on their way out, so that to me says everything, Peter. Plays it through, Junior's gets up to head it! In for the follow-up, back of the net! Drama at the death! Is there time for one more twist? Zahavi with a predatory goal. Oh, Peter, you can't teach that. You either have it or you don't. His anticipation is on another level to everyone else's. Superb. PSV give themselves a chance of a fairy tale finish. Uh, the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. And it's played forward. So that's it, it is all over. Benfica have held on. A knife edge game, a single goal margin, but they have won it. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim?